Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Welcome to today's edition of Morning Dew Prayers. As we gather together to pray concerning our new week, the sixth week of the year. Glory be to God. Today is the very first Sunday in the month of February. So I say to you all, happy new month. Praise the name of the Lord. By the grace of God, we have entered into the second month of this new year, our month of my identity. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm praying that your identity will be rooted and established in Christ Jesus and it will not be faulted. It will not be truncated in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, you see, when you talk about identity, it is something for which you are recognized. You are being introduced by your identity. People recognize you by the identity for which you carry. Even many at times, your identity will determine the things that you will get. Praise the name of the Lord. So it doesn't matter where you come from, which family that you are from, whether in your family there is no, it's not a big one, it's not recognized, so to say. All of that is inconsequential when we are talking about your identity in Christ. Because there is a superior identity that Christ has made available for you and I. When you put on Christ, then all that pertains to Jesus, all the works that Jesus has done on the cross, the finished work on the cross that makes a way, that breaks barrier, that uproots things that are not palatable, it becomes to manifest in your life because the identity of Jesus is what will be used to reckon with you. You will be discussed on, you will be addressed, amen. Everything concerning you will be related on the strength of Jesus Christ, whose identity you have put on. Praise the name of the Lord. So I am praying that in this month of February, you will receive a new identity. Things that people hated to before now were not ascribing to you. Blessings, favor, promotion, all those good things that are associated with the name of Jesus. Because you put on Christ, that new identity will make a way for you. Remember that Jesus is the head of all principalities and powers. So even the enemies that you are afraid of, the, the principalities, whether it's in your father's house, wherever it may be, all of such, they will walk, they will ad, uh, address you or they will relate with you on the strength of the identity of Christ. So that what cannot happen in the life of Jesus, because Jesus is upon you, you are putting on Christ, such will not be able to happen in your own life in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning, we're going to be praying that God will give us understanding. He will open our eyes. Our identity will be established in Christ Jesus. Amen. Our prayers are going to be in two sessions. We'll pray that one first. Then we'll look at what the 50 days of fasting is saying for today, the 4th of February, 2024. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Let me just read one scripture to you for you so that you will know that indeed you can put on Christ as a new identity and your story will change to glory. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 29. Galatians 3, 26 to 29. It says, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many, for as many, for as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Amen. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For all are one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I declare over your life straight away that every promise of Abraham, heirs, joint heirs with Christ, will begin to function in your life, in your destiny. And it is on the strength of this promise, is on the strength of this identity, is on the strength of who Jesus is and what he has done for you and I, that everything will begin to function for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that you will walk in all round dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. So beloved, if you can take up this new identity in Christ, putting on Jesus, you will be, you will be related on, on the strength 
of this new identity. So um, I pray that everything concerning you, all those things that has been oppressing you, bondage, limitation, poverty, sorrow, failure, stagnancy, ignorance, barrenness, all forms of causes, they will surrender to you because you have put on Christ. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I invite you to join us as we pray. Praise the name of the Lord. And as you pray, I want you to believe in your heart that everything concerning you will turn around so that all that God has destined for you will be established in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. Very quickly, I want you to join me as we pray. Your prayer number one, just want to thank God. Thank him for his goodness and his mercies concerning you and all your family members. Thank him for the grace to be alive. Thank him because you are seeing another day. Thank him because he has kept you for the first five weeks. We are entering the sixth week. And as we are praying this sixth week, this week we are entering, it will be fruitful for you. It will be glorious. It will be blessed for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Our prayer point number two, you pray and say, Father, from this day, I submit myself to your Lordship and I put on Christ as my new identity in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to make that a second prayer. Say, Father, from this day, from this moment, I submit myself to your Lordship because if you are going to put on Christ, you must know that you are surrendering to Jesus. You are accepting him as your Lord and Savior. You are surrendering and submitting yourself to all his will and purpose. And it will become your Lord. It will become your Savior. It will become your helper. It will become your defender. It will become your provider. It will fight for you. It will make a way for you. So you are praying. Say, Father, from this day, I submit myself to your Lordship and I put on Christ as my new identity in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. You are going forward in praying. Number three, say, Father, I declare on account of my identity in Christ, I shall no longer be subdued, oppressed, or defeated again in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, I declare on account of my identity in Christ, I shall no longer be subdued, I shall not be oppressed, neither shall I be defeated in any area of my life in the mighty name of of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Two more prayers very quickly. You pray and say, I declare on account of my identity in Christ, I shall enjoy unlimited favor in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, Christ is the head of all principalities. All the oppression you see in the world, they cannot subdue Christ because Christ is the head. Amen. And whatever the head says, everybody must obey. Amen. So you are praying and say, because of my identity in Christ, from today, I shall enjoy unlimited favor in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, you pray for yourself this morning and say, Father, all that Jesus represents shall take roots and be made manifest in my life and every member of my household in the mighty name of Jesus. All that Jesus represents is the head of all principality, is the, is the giver of life, is the way, is the truth, is the one that gives life in abundance, is the healer, is the provider, is the one that turned poverty into riches. Everything that Jesus represents is the healer. It will take root in my life and it will be made manifest in my life and in all members of my household in the mighty name of Jesus. That's your last prayer for yourself this morning. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I pray for you today. Your life and destiny shall carry the identity of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter where you come from or what you have, you've, you've been deprived of. Amen. Concerning you, your family, there shall be manifestations of greatness on account of Jesus in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you today. Every activity of the enemy shall be of no effect in your life, in your family, concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, your marriage, your education, 
everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. That project you are doing, that agenda that you have, your dream, your aspiration, every plan of the enemy concerning all of such, they shall be of no effect in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the head of all principalities. Therefore, I declare over you and your loved ones, every plan of the enemy shall all of a sudden work for your own good and promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The, 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 the blessings of God, which is all the forces in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth, they will all cooperate with you so that you will succeed this year, 2024, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you as from today, your identity will attract favor in the mighty name of Jesus. It will attract divine attention in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because of the identity of Christ upon your life, everywhere you go, doors will open for you in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you step your feet, you will possess in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that looks difficult because of Jesus that's on your side, it will become easy for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will succeed beyond all doubt, beyond all expectations. You will succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we go into the second segment of our prayers this morning, praying concerning our day 25 in our 50 days of fasting. Today we've come to the half mark, amen. And we are praying concerning the wind to blow away all forms of poverty in our lives. When you carry the identity of Christ, one of the advantage you enjoy is that poverty will, will disappear. Because the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 that Christ became poor for our sake, exchanging our poverty, giving us his riches so that for his sake we will become rich. I declare over your life, the wind will blow away every form of poverty in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that as you've lost or you've been oppressed or you, you have not been able to attain on account of poverty, as the wind is blowing this season, all of such will be blown away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Poverty is a state of being poor. It's a state of, of, of um, a, a, a deprivation. Amen? You will not be able to satisfy basic needs. Poverty is, there's nothing holy. There's nothing good. There's nothing righteous about poverty. Poverty is a weapon of the enemy to keep you bound and limited. And today, the wind will blow all of such poverty away in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. Quickly, we are praying and say, Father, thank you for your provisions over our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you because for you have, you have made us rich, exchanging your, your riches with our poverty, taking away our poverty. Lord, we've come to say thank you this glorious Sunday morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for supplying all our needs according to your riches in glory. Father, thank you, O God, because everything that is, every power sponsoring poverty in our lives is uprooted by your fire, even right now in the name of Jesus. Every garment of poverty in our life, they will catch fire, be burnt to ashes. We will never put on such garment again in the name of Jesus. Every poverty in our foundation, it dies right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that we will, you will silence every voice of poverty speaking against our lives in the name of Jesus. We declare, O oh Lord God, that you will come against every spirit of poverty by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, arise. Deliver us, deliver our family from poverty in the name of Jesus. Father, as your wind is blowing, we declare this morning, you will destroy poverty in all our foundation in the mighty name of Jesus. As your wind is blowing, my Father, my God, you will restore to us financial glory in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord God, that your wind will blow away every root of poverty 
in our foundation and it will never ever stand again. Any tree of poverty, let it wither and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we pray that you destroy by fire every weapon of poverty against our lives, against our destiny, against our spouse, against our parents, our siblings, our relatives, our loved ones, against every member of your church in the name of Jesus. Every dark power sitting on our prosperity, we command them to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, as the wind is blowing, take away poverty from all our lives in the name of Jesus and cause us to be established in wealth, wealth that will last from generation to generation in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you. I declare that you are blessed, you are favored. The identity of Christ is upon you. Everywhere you go, you will carry the mark of Jesus. Favor will speak for you. Goodness will be your portion. The mercy of God will envelop you run about in the name of Jesus. This week, I declare it is blessed. As you go out, you are protected. You are favored in the name of Jesus. The, um, the mark of Jesus will open great doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And everywhere that people see you, they will see the glory of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Lord bless you. Shalom.